Hey, Matt. Hey, Addy. How's it going? It's good. It's good. Did you get a haircut? I did. A haircut, new accent, um, new, new, new look, new feel. It's good. It's good. You're looking better Thank than, you. than better. before. You feel better I, I than feel before? Good. Yeah, yeah. You're not Matt. I am not. No, hi. I'm, I'm Rob Dodson. I'm a developer advocate on the Chrome team. Sure, Rob. Just just sell sell yourself. I mean, hello, hello. And uh, also, uh, if, if we're, we're selling stuff, uh, also host a little show on the Chrome Developers YouTube channel called Alleycast, World Renowned. Is that what we're calling it? Yes. World, world Renowned. World Renowned. I see. People I see. around the world have renowned it, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Believe what you want to believe, but uh, today we're going to be talking about accessibility auditing, accessibility, yes. right? Uh, what does your workflow for that look like? Yeah, so over here on my laptop, I've got a site that I've been working on. So this is called Lifestyle. It's got some cool like hipster photos and stuff like that. People Lifestyles of the uh, accessible and famous. Indeed. All right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what I usually do when I'm you know working on uh, improving the accessibility of a site is I will use the new audits panel in Chrome DevTools, which is very very nice. Uh, if you go to create a new audit, you'll see that you've got like a number of options inside of there. So you could look at PWA-ness, best practices, et cetera. One of the topic areas is accessibility. So you can just go run just an accessibility audit if you don't, if you don't feel like doing the other test. Here's one that I, I ran against the page. And it's doing pretty OK, right? It's got a 91, not so bad. But there's definitely a few issues that we need to fix. And in particular, one that I see a lot is, is color contrast. So you've got your, your, your foreground text maybe is a little too light on the background color. One of the nice things that we can do with the audits panel is we can actually dive in and we can see which elements specifically have failing contrast. So here I can see that I've got this like product card price element. And if I click on that and stretch this out a little bit, you can see it'll take me over to my elements panel and I can actually scroll into view the actual element that is failing, which is which is this price right here. Nice, and it already selects the DOM node for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, and so uh, one of the things that's really helpful is, you know, not only does this allow me to sort of quickly identify this node, but one of the things we're working on, which is over here in Chrome Canary right now, is actually a color picker that will make it a little bit easier for you to fix those contrast issues. So if you're in something like Chrome Canary, uh, you can go into chrome colon slash slash flags. And you can look for the word developer tools experiments. Oh, wow, so you're in flags and experiments. You look like to live dangerously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So dangerously. So dangerously. OK. So we enable the developer tools experiments, right? We step into the future. It'll refresh our browser for us. We can go back over here, pop open the dev tools, mm -hmm. click on this little settings menu. Good where it says experiments. Dun, dun, dun. And here we can see we've got accessibility inspection as well as color contrast ratio line. So let's uh, let's see what that does. So we'll go find that same node that was giving us problems over here. Inspect it. And then we can see in our styles panel, I got a little color swatch and click on that. And now you'll see that there's this little line inside of my color palette. So this is actually, Fancy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this was actually telling us like where our, our colors needs to be in order to have sufficient color contrast. So since we're above the line, we get this little warning that says we've got low contrast. Um, I happen to know that this is not like the final look for this piece of UI. It's still being iterated on, but it'll be something like this where you've got a line and you can sort of tell which side is, is the good side or the bad side. So I can actually just drag this below the line. That warning goes away. You can see over here, it's also like updating my element live in the document. Mm -hmm. And it'll sort of tell me what the good color contrast ratio is. So I can just grab that value right off here and then go back and just fix it in my CSS. That's pretty neat. So I, I was trying this out the other week. And something that occurred to me was that you know if, if you as a developer realize that the contrast um, is a little bit off, uh, do you need to go back to your designers at that point and say, well, is this OK for our brand and everything? Is that something that should be factored in earlier on in the process? I, ideally, yeah. Like this is. Uh, there's there's definitely other design tools out there. There's I think there's plugins for Sketch and things like that, which will also help you uh, look at the color contrast for your designs and make sure things are not too low contrast. Anytime you can catch that earlier in the process, make sure all the designers are on board and all the stakeholders are on board, uh, and and that sort of like makes it easier when it, when those things come downstream for folks to implement it and it doesn't become like a contentious issue or anything. 
Cool, that's that's awesome. Um, the Lighthouse Audit also had some other accessibility stuff in there as well, right? So it had contrast, mm -hmm. uh, it was highlighting alt attributes too? Alt attributes, yep, yep. So yeah, if we go back to that report, um, let's see here. So yeah, a few of the things that, that this site was failing, um, just missing some alt attributes. We've got form elements that don't have associated labels. The big problem there is you land on a control and maybe it says that it's a button, but it doesn't tell you what kind of button, right? Is it the, you know, send my social security number to hackers button? I don't want to click that button, right? I want to make sure that I'm clicking the right kind of controls and I know what I'm interacting with. Uh, we've got over, I think, 32 tests or maybe even wow. over 35 tests in, in the Lighthouse Accessibility Checker here. And under the hood, these tests are all based on a library called Axe Core, which is made by some folks at uh, DQ. So yeah, we, we work with the Axe Core library, we leverage the test from inside of it, and we sort of integrate it into DevTools so you can hop around and inspect the nodes real quick. That's awesome. So this is great, again, for locally checking on your accessibility issues. Uh, what about CI and continuously monitoring your accessibility? Is there a story for that too? Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, it, the, the Lighthouse library itself can be used as a standalone node module. So you can you know, pull that into your CI process if you want to do that. Or alternatively, you could use the Axe Core library that is, is powering these tests, and you could use that standalone. The, the nice thing there is you can sort of decide which accessibility test you want to turn on or off, depending on sort of the, the criteria that you're trying to meet. Very cool. So we've got lots of great tooling for accessibility auditing. Uh, what about docs or educational material? Yes, we have that as well. So if you go to developers.google.com slash web slash fundamentals slash accessibility, we have a whole section there on getting started with accessibility for the web. And it also includes links to our Udacity course. So that's like a, a multi-week kind of hands-on experience where you actually like build stuff and watch a bunch of videos and kind of get up to speed on accessibility. Very cool. Yeah. I feel like my lifestyle is more accessible. Already, yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, thanks for having me today. Yeah, thanks for coming down. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, people should check out Alleycast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>